It is the hottest workout to hit Metro Vancouver. And you know what, folks? I have to say it. We're raising the bar on the North Shore fitness scene today on the Express. I had to say it, you guys. On today's show. And rounding out chin to chest over top of that leg. The hottest new workout to hit the North Shore. Let him get his shot looking straight down on top of the river. A North Van photographer with a long reaching lens. I've worked all around the world in different bike shops. A bike shop in Whistler for your fat tire fix. I'm really excited to see where Adam goes next couple of years. Plus, a Chilliwack teen with a taste for revolutionary rock. In spite of all the days. And more local expression. Welcome to the Express, only on Shot TV. I'm Johanna Ward, and to be honest, it's all I can do not to run in there and join them. This is one of the hottest new workouts to hit the West Coast. Think of it as Pilates meets ballet meets a hot body boot camp. Bar Fitness launched in Canada in 2010, and now it's expanded its long tone limbs here to the North Shore. And rounding out chin to chest over top of that leg. After the first workout, I just immediately fell in love with it. And it seems the feeling is mutual. As a participant turned instructor turned franchise owner, Nori loves that bar fitness is a total body workout. And as a dancer, she especially appreciates where the fitness philosophy originates. The idea that it's brought from a dancer's background, I really was drawn to. I love having the bar because it makes me feel like a ballet dancer. I mean, like I'm going to be more graceful than I really am. Yes, well, you can sort of play out your uh, ballet fantasies when you hear it. Yeah, fitness. definitely. Yeah. I'm a little more flash dance than ballet, yeah. but we'll go for it. <laughs> The series of movements are designed to sculpt and tone the smaller muscles. Because you're working muscles that you either have never worked or that you've forgotten about for a very long time. So I'm right now thinking short shorts, yes. bikinis. We're going to work the legs, yeah. work the glutes. So from here you can also rock the pelvis forward and back. So this gets our glutes involved. Nice. Squeezing the glutes as we come forward and back. Now I'm feeling uh, Jane Fonda over flashes yes. and ballet. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I think... Um, for one, people see results, and they see results quickly, and that's what everybody wants out of a workout. For four, three, two. Also, it's tough on the muscles and gentle on the joints. Light weights are used in a range of one to eight pounds. So the idea here is that we're drawing our elbows in nice and tight, and you can feel this through the front of the shoulders pretty quickly. And the great thing, I guess, with the, the longer reps, the lighter weight, is that's how you get those long, lean muscles, right? Exactly. It's the big thing with bar fitness. Yeah, long, lean muscles and low impact, so less damage to your muscle tissue as well. And you want to stretch over towards your bar. Another thing to know about the bar-based workout, you don't need a dance background or a uterus. It's not just for beginners, it's not just for advanced, it's not just for women. Um, anybody can do the workout and you can scale it to your own levels. So I think it's, that's why it attracts such a wide audience. An audience that now, after two years in the making, has widened to this brand new studio on Vancouver's North Shore. I'm just so excited that we're now open and I'm able to share it with the North Shore and just the Lower Mainland too. This is where I grew up, so it's exciting to have my business here. The studio provides mats, purified water, towel services and showers as well. Plus, Bar Fitness North Vancouver has a child minding service for those busy bar parents. Now, our next story on the Express also features a local who's following what they love. But how far would you go for the perfect photograph? These days, with our simple handy-dandy camera phones, we tend to just point and click. But this next North Vancouver photographer really goes the distance to get the perfect shot. So much so that he has ropes in his camera bag, along with extra lenses. It's a chilly Saturday morning in Seymour Canyon. And photographer Jordan Manley has coaxed a couple of mountaineers into helping him with his latest project. We've got a couple friends here, Marcus and Ian, and they're uh, helping me set up what's called a Tyrolean, which is just a, a rope across the canyon so I can shoot from within the canyon high up, looking down in and capture the uh, action and the scenery. One, two, I'll get the haul gear if you want to get the blanket set up. The 27-year-old North Vancouver native has built up quite the portfolio working for a number of sports publications and often takes extra steps to get the perfect angle. These types of shots that we're doing today are, are really fun because I'm really involved in the shot. It's not just standing there and taking a photo. You're allowed to kind of use a whole bunch of skills in conjunction with each other to make that shot happen. And Jordan has enlisted a childhood friend 
to manage this process of placing him 70 meters above jagged rocks and raging rapids. We've been to Baffin Island together on top of 3,000 foot cliffs, so this is just kind of another day in the life sort of thing. Well, I'd, I'd probably say working with Jordan on Baffin Island was probably the most exciting thing we've done together. It was a uh, ski mountaineering documentary. Beautiful places, beautiful people. Setting up takes four hours, scurrying back and forth on either side of the canyon, taking every safety precaution possible. Part of the thing is you never really know until you actually shoot it, until I get out there on that rope. So I'm kind of going on past experience and my intuition to tell me that, you know, them putting me right in the middle of that canyon is going to give me that shot that I want. We're going to go across the canyon, set up the similar type of thing off another strong tree on that side. We're going to throw a line across so we can pull the working lines over to us. And then we're going to tension those lines. And then attach Jordan on out, dangle him in the middle, and let him get his shot looking straight down on top of the river. You know, I get butterflies every time. Uh, I've never done a Tyrolean like this, so um, it, this one will be a little bit new for me. I do need to take it off, Donna. As Jordan pushes off, he looks like Spider-Man, minus the spandex carefully steadying himself in preparation for his subject, a kayaker far below. The fast-flowing water leaves him only moments to catch his perfect shot. And the endeavor is a success. More images for the book he's compiling. This book is all about Deep Cove, North Vancouver to Whistler and the recreation that's possible here and the landscape that we have here. I've traveled all throughout the world and it's, it's still a place that I really love coming back to every time. It's a pretty competitive industry and uh, I think this kind of effort is what gives Jordan the edge. To follow Jordan's progress and to see more of his work, visit jordanmanley.com. A young photographer with very high expectations. I'm Paul McClellan in North Vancouver for The Express. Such a cool gig made, especially so when you get to work with your BFF. Jordan's book is scheduled to hit bookshelves later this year. His website is jordanmanley.com. Now today on The Express, we're hitting the gym, specifically the new bar fitness studio in North Vancouver, one of my favorite spots. Right now on the show, we're joining Nicole Fitzgerald in one of her most favorite spots, and she's been going hard on the trails. Well, if I'm looking to give my bike a little or a lot of TLC, you'll find me here at The Fix, home to Whistler's own Rocket Man. Got a faulty part? He can build you one from scratch, straight from a block of metal. Dirt Magazine says this is a one-of-a-kind operation found nowhere else in the world but here in Whistler. Of course, Whistler has a bike doctor, too perfect. We're going to learn more about the Rocket Man later on today's Express, along with these stories. He explained things to me. Jenna Sidhu's story of survival. I'm really excited to see where Adam goes the next couple of years. Adam Briscoe's musical musings. Hopefully I'll be, be right up there on stage with him. The Express, only on Shaw TV. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by... The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward.